If you were to look at a stranger's for you page, you would quickly ascertain what kind of person they are, what they find interesting, what their hobbies are, what they find funny. Apparently, TikTok has worked out that Rishi Sunak's plans for enlisting the young in national service is actually to rally troops for a kingdom-wide hunt for hordes of gnomes that are running rampant across the nation. Gnome vs Knight is a quickly trending TikTok topic with posts less than 24 hours old reaching millions of views. All using the same sound. Misanthrop by Blood Besvimels. This was all started by a TikToker called Crawley, whose other videos have him wordlessly tearing havoc on different malls and shops. Six days ago, he posted a video dressed as a gnome with a green robe, tall white hat, and a little net in his hand. And it was captioned, found a hiding place from the stupid knights. While most of his videos do very well, this one did well in particular. Loads of people started making response videos, choosing sides, posting about the known versus night battle, basically adding their own lore that is quickly blowing up. There's loads of gnome accounts that have popped up by people wanting to make a contribution to the war efforts, and plenty of night cosplayers fueling the fire with representation from the other side. I was confused at first at the armoured men popping up on my feed doing pull-ups, lifting and running on treadmills to prepare to catch those little guys. Though when you check out the sound, it all makes sense. And as a D&D lover myself, I am a massive fan of this whole situation. Even Duolingo Brazil has made their own contribution to the chaos, with the bright green bird easily comparable to the cape donned by Crawley in his growing collection of gnome videos. They are performing very well for him, with the three pinned wizard gnome videos currently pulling in 35, 74 and 81 million views. And that's just in the last five days. All in all, I think this is incredibly funny and I see this as the wonderful power of the internet to be able to create humour between people all across the world.